to Ethiopia. It's amazing. Ethiopia. Hi from Ethiopia. I have just started my epic five month journey around East and Southern Africa with hashtag faces two hearts. Don't forget to check it out. And I am here. So I said goodbye to my parents. And then as soon as I arrived, I went to check into my hostel. It was in the Bali neighborhood, which is the place where all the embassies are. You have loads of restaurants, cinemas, things like that. And it's really close to the airport, which sounded a little bit odd to me at first, but it's actually extremely convenient. And the place I stayed in is called Mr. Martin's Cozy Place, which to me sounds equal parts adorable and downright creepy, but it ended up being mainly adorable. And I would really recommend it if you're coming to Addis Ababa. It's about $23 per night, which for local standards there is very good. It's actually pretty expensive when it comes to accommodation. After checking in, of course, I wanted to explore, so I headed to Mercato, which is one of the biggest markets in all of Africa. We adopt the name Mercato from the Italian market. Mercato means in Italian it's market, so we adopt it. Our market used to be one mile from here in the west side in um, Arada Georgis in Piazza area, which Piazza is the same, we adopted from the Italians. This is Sambusa. Good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get there, I decided to use what they call a blue donkey, which is a taxi slash bus, which is very, very cheap. We're talking like 10 cents but it's also kind of dangerous. It goes really fast and they cram in just tons of people. Like, you'll be very cozy. But it's an experience, so I recommend you try it at least once. This is how you cross the road in Addis. You just look around and hope for the best. Okay, we made it halfway. Ooh. I've already done a whole separate video about Ethiopian food, which you can check out below. But I wanted to show you this one restaurant I went to, which was very fancy. It's called 2000 Habesha, and it's in the Bola neighborhood. It was very close to my hostel. I actually went with some locals and also a few friends that I met at the hostel, which is of course what backpacking is really good for, meeting new people. So we had a lot of fun and even did some dancing, which I kind of regret now. <laughs> I'm joking, it was great. It's really good. It's a little bit sour, a little bit smoky. <laughs> and I drowned in it. The next morning I headed out on an adventure because I needed a break from all the smog and pollution of Addis. It's like any other big city. It's very great. And there's a place nearby called Wenchi Crater Lake. It's really gorgeous. Turquoise waters, green lush hills, and you can do a four kilometer trek normally. What I ended up doing was about 20 kilometers, like the full loop, which I was definitely not prepared for, so it kind of destroyed me, as did the fact that you drive four hours there and four hours back, so that's eight hours in the car in really terrible terrain. But would I recommend it? Absolutely. I would just say that you should do it as a two-day trip, not a one-day trip if you have the time. But excellent, really good, and we also tried some local booze, which was very strong. What you got? Let's go. Oh, it's okay. It tastes like schnapps. <laughs> it's strong. Now I walk like this. <laughs> and then I left Addis and traveled south to Awasa. I have decided to splash out $39 for this gorgeous, gorgeous room. I'm right next to Awasa Lake, which is gorgeous. It's got hippos, it's got these giant, terrifying birds, it's got monkeys, it's really, really cool. And the reason I decided to splash out is because I was, I'm like scared to sit on this bed because I'm so dirty, so I'm gonna sit on the table. <laughs> and um, the reason I decided to splash out is because I was paying $7 a night at this local guest house, which was totally fine, it was nice, uh, but the shower wasn't really working properly so I am a little grimy so I decided to literally dust myself off and um, yeah this has a beautiful bathroom let me show you this giant shower which I'm like so excited to use and I think it might even have hot water Speaking of water, my next trip was to an EU-funded project that provides locals with safe drinking water. So this is a big problem in the region. And here are a few clips from there. I'll be making a whole separate video about it on the Europaid channel, so you can go check that out. I'm also linking it below. 
And after the work was done, the guys who run the charity invited me for food and a few beers. So, of course I said yes. <laughs> I am back in Owasa after two incredible days of exploring Kambata with KMG, which is a local charitable organization spearheaded by Boga. And Boga, let me tell you, this is one of the most inspiring, incredible women I have met in a very long time. Her particular sphere of interest is female genital mutilation, or FGM for short. And she's very passionate about eradicating it because she lost one of her sisters to this terrible practice, and she was herself affected by it. So it was incredibly inspiring how the women and the men in the community really respect her. Incredible two days, and now, I'm back in Owasa, as I said, but this is my room now. Normally you'd pay $39 for the cheapest room, which you saw previously, and I'm actually paying 26 because I got a special discount. And the reason I got that discount is because, honestly, the guy at reception has a bit of a crush on me, or he's just being super friendly. Um, and I've not been leading him on or anything. I uh, refused his invitation to dinner because I just figured, no, um, but he's so sweet and he offered anyway. He said, no, it's fine, I can do this. So I said, okay, I can do this as well because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous room and the view is just mind blowing. So I am gonna head to dinner now and then I'm gonna crash because I am exhausted. And tomorrow at 6 a.m. I'm taking the bus back to Addis and then the day after I'm leaving for Uganda. I'm gonna be so sad to leave. And that's it for today, but you should stay tuned for more content from Ethiopia and Uganda, which is where I'm traveling to next. And then we only have six countries left. So. While you're here, just subscribe for more Africa content and here is something for you to watch while you're waiting for my next video to come out. The internet is very slow, so bear with me. Normally I post on Fridays, but it's been a little bit up and down, but I'm trying. Bye! <laughs>